Hey guys, this is Jeff with iDownload Blog. I thought we'd discuss it under the radar tweak. It is called Data Monitor. It's available for free on the Cydia store. And this is a really, 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 really verbose tweak. I mean, there's so much information to be had here. It's ridiculous. You have, of course, the main feature, the traffic monitoring, which it'll monitor both your Wi-Fi traffic, as you can see, and your cellular traffic on both a monthly and a daily basis. If you hit the little info button there, you get all the information about how the traffic is monitored, what, what different things mean, etc. Uh, so you can read that for yourself when you have time if you want to try this out. And notice the monitor is in real time, so you can see it moving as data is downloaded, uploaded, etc. There is the cellular, and once you aggregate enough data, if you want to break it down into different days, you can tap that button there to break it down by month and then by day. It's really, really in depth. And like I said, not only do you have monthly traffic, but you also have daily traffic. And then you also have, that's not it folks, that's just the tip of the iceberg. You also have all these settings down here at the bottom. You have settings, device, and about. Now, settings and device have a lot of different features underneath, so we're gonna explore the settings. First of all, you can set out a billing day so you can really monitor your cellular data traffic uh, you know exactly how much you have on which days and how much you should be using, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Uh, you can set a traffic limit. As you can see there, you can adjust the megabytes or gigabytes or whatever your preference may be. And then you have these thresholds that you can set up here. So when you get to a certain level of data, then you can have alerts for your thresholds and all that jazz right there. So these are all the various settings that you will find under the settings option here. Now, the thing about this app is it's not as responsive as it should be there. It took me a couple of taps on that device setting to actually load up the devices. And you'll notice it's it's kind of laggy. It's kind of uh, slow and jittery. So don't expect to have a, a great performance uh, experience out of this particular jailbreak app. But nonetheless, it is nice for a free app. Um, Notice me tapping cancel there and it's taking a while just to get out to here. So it looks like this app is just using a lot of memory, etc. Um, you have memory usage, CPU usage. Uh, you can It actually breaks it down by core. So we know this is a dual, dual core A5 processor. It breaks it down to that level. Then you can brace, break it down to various processes that are running on your device. It has the PID, the start time, run time, the name of the process that is running, all that basically more information than you can shake a stick at. And then here's the uh, information or about panel there. So like I was saying, just lots and lots of stuff here. And then not only that, but if you scroll down there, <laughs> if you scroll down under the, uh, the device panel, you'll notice system info. And again, it is lagging a little bit here, but then you have the system, system build, multitasking support, kernel version, kernel build, model, model ID, type ID, name, network node, CPU, GPU, GPU core, or CPU cores, all that level one cache, all that stuff that people just normally don't need to know and don't care about, frankly. But if you're an extra geek, or if you just really wanna get all the details about your device, then by all means, check out the system details. Notice the back functionality is taking a long time. So this app, while it may be very in-depth, while you may have a lot of different options and a lot of settings, it's very slow. Uh, and I don't know if I can recommend it for that reason. It's just ridiculously slow. There are other tweaks that are similar to this, like Omnistat, which is a notification center tweak. And then, of course, you have that one notification center tweak whose name escapes me at the moment that actually will monitor your data usage. Bottom line is that Data Monitor is a free app. It has a lot of information that it provides you with, but it's very slow. So let me know what you guys think in the comment section. This is Jeff with iDownloadBlog.